I normally never have a hero because I get asked this question every year where I say, select the best piece. But this year I have to say I have a best piece and it is the 1858 Geosphere that we have. And the 1858 is also the carrier, the main aspect of our spirit of mountaineering that we wanted to bring across. And specifically the Geosphere because it was inspired by a Villeray piece we did last year which had two globes that showed the northern hemisphere timing moving and we wanted to express that and share that beauty and that functionality also in the 1858. So we actually managed to put this complication into this beautiful watch which gives it depth, which gives it a function and also makes you look at it and understand the watch because it kind of shows you the day and night function on the north and the south incorporated in a piece that was inspired by a piece from our heritage and the archives from the 1925 and so this culmination of everything with the strap with the stitching is all the craftsmen at Mont Blanc and all the competence in Mont Blanc have come together in this piece with the leather and just to highlight the spirit of mountaineering we even engraved the Mont Blanc on the back so just so that it reminds you in every aspect so it is indeed all about fine detailing. You know, what, what do you mean by fine watchmaking and how does Mobla fit into that fine watchmaking? Mobla fits into the fine watchmaking because we have working with the Minerva, old Minerva um, um, manufacturer. And this manufacturer is basically now 100, we're celebrating the 160 years of it. So this has been handed over and when Mont Blanc works in the category, we don't just work in it, we immerse ourselves in it, we understand it. So Minerva with all its heritage, its craftsmanship has become now the fiber of Mont Blanc's watchmaking competence. And detailing watches are about details because in a watch you have this space and in this space you have to work with figures, with indexes, with colors, with complications and all of them have to be in a very precise configuration because it's all driven by the movement. So the watchmaking is about taking all these fine details and all these finite details and putting them together that they find an expression which represents the competence of the maison. So this is what fine watchmaking is, is taking your competence, the competent craftsmanship of your people and putting it together to create a beautiful piece.